What up, everybody? Good evening. Um, first of all, if you're not from Brooklyn, welcome to Brooklyn. As an official born and raised member of the Brooklyn community, you are officially in the planet of Brooklyn. And we celebrate Rosa here today, and I want to tell you my name is George Martinez, and I am one of the few cats in the hip-hop community who have actually been elected to office. I walked in here and Gloria Matera asked me, um, what party were you registered for? And I said, a Democrat, I'm from Brooklyn. We were trying to get elected. And so what I'm trying to encourage folks is, especially amongst the hip hop community, is to become strategic, lifelong participants in the political process. The Hip Hop Association, the organization that I'm the chairman of, and I want you all to clap for Martha Diaz, the founder and president. What we've, been, what we've been committed to doing is doing the work and not really being glamorous and celebrity with it. And so the folks who do work know us. And the folks who are usually on television wish they were us, but they don't know us to be us. Um, and so that's a good mix because we keep ourselves pure and integri with integrity based on our connections to the hood and to the, and to the community. And being from Brooklyn and connecting to the Hip Hop Association and my political journey has given us the opportunity to teach political literacy. So everybody knows it's our time. And I'm looking at the Green Party and I know nationally who you all are, I know your history. I'm a political scientist and a professor at Pace University. So I'm very clear with the Park Slope Greens. I was a former district leader in the 51st Assembly District in Brooklyn, Sunset Park, Red Hook, Park Slope. I ran against Angel Rodriguez in 2001. If you're from part of this neighborhood, you know what I'm talking about. Now, I ran as a Democrat to get elected, but I ran because it was our time to stop being sick and tired of being sick and tired. It was our opportunity, I felt, in 2001, to be able to say in my neighborhood where I'm from, shit. A boy from the neighborhood who can be the first cat to graduate high school in my family, go on to college, start teaching, start doing all these things, rapping, engaging in the entire world of hip hop, but as an activist and as an educator, and I gotta walk my streets and be sick and tired of problems and then see cats with, on the posters who don't reflect our interest, that is some bullshit. And so I said to myself, nah, I'm going to call a couple of heads from Blackout Arts Collective, 1996, 1997, word shout out to Blackout Arts Collective, and, and sat down in, a, in, in, in one of our brother Rafiq Kilimadeen's house, with a, a name alone is on the watch list. <laughs> and this brother is a, a lawyer from NYU, right? And so powerful young cats in our community, breaking the stereotype of what it means to be the hip hop community. Because we're like doctors, lawyers, college professors, academics. We got blocks on lock, cell blocks on lock. We got international communities on lock. And so the idea that we can actually make a difference locally was what it was all about. And so I, I continue to encourage us as hip hop to engage. And now all of a sudden, 2008 comes around and the Green Party endorses or through, and it wasn't easy, I'm sure, I know politics. There was controversy at your convention. There was rumblings and rumors of people who want to leave the party because there was a black woman and an Afro Boricua who was on ahead of your ticket. And so you all have to do the soul searching. I am not going to encourage people to support the Green Party. I'm going to encourage people to listen to Rosa, provide the opportunities that she needs to be our spokesperson about issues that are important to us. And if you find yourself in agreement with the platform of the Green Party, then via Pues, vote for the Green Party. Yeah. I encourage hip hop to become those proactive political participants. We use our words, we use our language, we use the scratch. The ability to put a cardboard box on the floor and transform a sidewalk into a dance studio is how we will engage in politics. You thought you were gonna get a person who maybe was gonna represent and bring in black and Latino folks, but what you got are people who are gonna keep it real and who are gonna talk truth to power. And so unfortunately, but fortunate for us, we we're gonna stand with Rosa Clemente, we're gonna support Rosa Clemente, and we're gonna hold the hip hop community accountable to, for those folks who seek to divide us by using their funny little terms and their funny little language and know how to cut deals behind the closed doors. We are gonna bring exposure to all the fraudulent stuff in the hip hop community, and when the Green Party's over this year, we, as hip hop, will continue to organize in the next four years, and we will truly have the hip hop presidency of 2012. Peace. My name is George Martinez.
Rosa, I love you. The year of the hip-hop woman.